So good morning, everyone. And thank you for um, attending this uh, webinar about uh, most popular onboard energy needs for working machine. So as I said, it's going to be recorded. I wanted this webinar and still would like it to be more like uh, practical rather than um, theoretical. So that's why uh, we'll go, of course, through a little bit through Dynaset, quickly who we are, the, um, the solutions we offer, but then I will show a lot of uh, pictures about products installed on working machines and opening more ideas to you on, um, on, on, on what is usually needed as, as a source of energy on, on mobile machines. So my name is Hughes Lambert. Um, some of you know me, some of you probably not. I've been working for Dynaset for, um, I think, more than 10 years now. And I work as a sales manager. I've worked in various areas, and now I, I, uh, I deal with North America together with, with a colleague of mine. So I have a good PowerPoint. Can just somebody confirm me now quickly that you can see my PowerPoint properly? Yeah, everything is okay, I think. Good, perfect. So Diana said quickly, uh, well, Michel, thank you. You know us. Um, we have been uh, for 35 years in the business, which means we're a solid company, strong experience in doing what we do. Um, headquarters, factories based in Finland. Most of our subcontractors are uh, from a lot of them from Finnish origin, some of them in, New in Europe. So in any case, we try to be quite, uh, we try to work local. Local be meaning within Finland and within, within Europe to have quite short supply chain. We from Finland sell all around the world. So to more than 80 countries, mainly developed countries, where there is already some kind of strong know-how in, in machines, in hydraulics in general. We still have uh, a couple of uh, daughter companies abroad, one in Russia, another one in China. Mm, that helps a lot when you deal with those countries when you are local. To make business just makes it easier. Our solutions, because of course we're a manufacturer, but at the end of the day we talk about solutions that we provide to customers can be found on any type of vehicle. It's not restricted, which means that mainly mobile machines and then whether it's mining, demolition, construction, maintenance, infrastructure, even offshore, our products, as, so, as soon as there is a mobile machine and a need for energy on that machine, there is a possibility for install, to install a Dynaset product. And if ever, so basically our basic idea uh, is that um, we would use the hydraulic energy which is available on any vehicle to run our generators, compressors, power washers, and so on. But in case this hydraulic energy is not available, we can bring it on quite a lot of vehicles through PTOs, hydraulic pumps. We have strong experience in that, and we usually always find a solution uh, to be able to put hydraulics into, into vehicles. So that's for the company. Our expertise. So Dynaset, it's all about hydraulics. The core idea is that once you have any kind of vehicle on which there is already energy, the main energy on, of any kind of vehicle, it's its engine. So when you have this engine, this thermal energy, if you need electricity, power boosting, compressed air, and so on, power washing, instead of bringing together with that vehicle or installing on that vehicle, those kind of like 
big generators, diesel driven generators, or, you know, like uh, air compressors, we say that, hey, we can make you a much more compact product that you will plug in to the hydraulics of your vehicle and your vehicle will give you the energy that you need. So basically, we transport the hydraulic energy available on a vehicle. And as I told before, if it's not available, we can bring it to that vehicle into another power source. So what we offer is solutions, onboard solutions, source of energy. That's what Dynaset is all about. So the advantages of those like um, hydraulic driven products. The main thing is that, uh, why hydraulics? Why did our founder 35 years ago thought about developing a range of hydraulically driven product? The main reason is that hydraulics allows you from small to get big, which means that thanks to hydraulics, you can get very high power with limited resources. All of that within a very compact design. So the advantages of our products, hydraulically driven products, and that's why they are very popular as onboard energy on various types of vehicles. Is that first of all, it makes your life easy. As you can see from the picture on the right, the van on which is installed a hydraulic generator circled in red. And then in front of that van, slightly on the left, you have a standard diesel driven type trailer type of generator. Once the generator is installed on, in the van, you don't have any more to drag anything on the work site. So wherever you drive with your van, the van itself will provide you with the electricity that you need. Same goes with compressors, same goes with power washers. So once they are installed on your vehicle, your vehicle moves, you know that you have everything you need on that vehicle. No need to go and get a separate trailer to drive to the work site. So it comes to the second point. You save time and money when you don't have to think about like, OK, where is the generator? Where is the compressor? We need it tomorrow to get it to the job site. Then it needs sometimes to organize the logistics, to bring it there. Where is it? Maybe it's another place. We need first to bring it like, you know, to the workshop. Then the next day from the workshop, we need to drag it to the work site. Once you have everything on your machine, you don't need to think about it at all. Excellent power to size ratio. So that's the idea. Once you decide, and that's Dynaset main motto, once you decide to design products that are going to be installed on working machines, space is always an issue. So our engineers, their first, let's say like a uh, problem when they think about developing a new product is to make it always as compact as possible. Reliability, of course, quality, but this is normal everywhere. Dynaset really focus on making it as compact as possible to be allowed basically to put our product on any kind of vehicle. Then it's, it increases safety on the work site. Uh, when you go on the job site, the less equipment there is around, the less obstacles, the less cables and the less risk they are for all kind of accidents and various problems. So if you have a vehicle which you can park somewhere on the work site and from that vehicle get all the other type of energy you need, then that's all. You have only one vehicle which is somewhere identified and then you can freely move around the job site. Very light maintenance requirements. Since our products, they are hydraulically driven, they are connected to 
an existing hydraulic system. They don't have a separate engine, so you don't need to perform any kind of maintenance linked to that separate engine. Or you need to change the oil, change the filters, change like all kind of, you know, like gears and, uh, and, and, and spare parts that could be in those like um, shafts and, and, and all these kind of, you know, gearing system that would be in, 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 in the, uh, connected between the engine and, and, and the alternator and, and the generator. Dyna said, you are free from all this type of maintenance. As long as the vehicle itself goes through its normal maintenance, you don't need to separately think about Dynaset products maintenance. And finally, and probably the, the most important, uh, when you buy a vehicle, this vehicle is your biggest investment. That what cost you a lot of money. So the more you can get out of that vehicle, the better it is on the mid and long term. So when you can run thanks to the engine of this vehicle, a generator, a compressor, um, power washer, you get a more efficient use of your engine and of the vehicle as a whole. So a faster return on investment on the working machine. So as I said, now we'll go to, you can stop me anytime. Uh, basically, I see here there is only Michel and Martin outside Dynaset. So you, we can make it a discussion. So Martin and Michel, uh, where, whenever you feel that you have a question, just raise your hands and I will like, um, uh, I will answer to you. So now, as I said, let's not make it too theoretical. I will just go qu quickly through the main, the three main uh, powers which are needed on vehicles and show you a lot of pictures about them. So first of all, electricity. Dynaset has a range of both hydraulic generators, which you can see the picture on the left side, and hydraulic welders on the right side. The difference is that the hydraulic generator will provide you only with VAC electricity, either 50 hertz, 60 hertz, depending on the market, ranging from 3.5 to 80 kVAs. The welders will provide you both. The welding current, 210 to 400 amperes, plus VAC support electricity. Because when you do welding, you always, you always need electricity for, for grinding, for cutting, and so on. The advantage of Dynaset products are of those generators is mainly in the hydraulic drive. So we use silent motor. So silent motor means that the motors are designed so that in terms of decibel, it's slightly lower than the average, but the noise is much more harmonious. So it like um, uh, eliminates the noise disturbance on the job site. Then, or gen, uh, in the hydraulic drive, on top of the hydraulic motor, we have a PT block, pressure and tent block, in which is integrated an automatic frequency control valve. So through hydraulics, we guarantee that the electricity that will come out Yes, exactly, Essa. We have actually, sorry, I'm stopping because Essa made a comment. Uh, HD100 is available. Uh, sorry, it's not their standard, but we have made, for you to know, as projects, we have made generators up to 250 kVA. So uh, good, good Essa to, to, to point it out is that we have standard products, but there is always room, you know, like to work on projects and, uh, you know, uh, designing bigger generators if needed. So to continue about this quality of electricity is that these uh, automatic frequency control valves, so this small valve which is there on the, on the, actually it's here, if you see it right here on the welder on the picture of the right, this guarantees that the electricity, the frequency that will come out of the generator will remain stable uh, from nominal flow 
up to 50% more of this nominal flow. So frequency will be stable to 50 or 60 hertz, depending on the model, within a range of plus minus 2%. Sorry. So now I'll show you some examples. Why electricity and where electricity? First of all, I would say the most popular uh, application for electricity are the service trucks. So anywhere where you need to go and perform maintenance at the client's place, whether it's his own workshop, then it's easy to find electricity. But sometimes it's in the middle of the road. Sometimes it's like in the middle of a work site, somewhere um, outside the city. It can be in the forest, anywhere where electricity is not available. Well, when you have it directly on your vehicle, it's like very uh, convenient as you will always need to perform your task to like, um, To have a need, let's say, for electricity to perform, sorry, to uh, to run lightning, to run like various type of portable electrical tools. Even some people use it, our generators to run like, you know, computers and much more sensitive type of similar technologies. Another example of service trucks. So on the previous time, you saw that the generator was kind of outside uh, under deck. From the, from the chassis of the truck. Here, for example, it's a van. Uh, and you can see that the generator, and there is also a compressor, is inside the van. So that's the, also the very good thing about products being driven hydraulically, is that you have a great flexibility of how you can install the product. Since they are very compact, they can be placed inside the van, they can be placed outside the van, under deck as we saw, basically anywhere where they would be like the most suitable place, like to put it. Aerial platforms. This is one of our biggest, let's say, market for generators. As you can see from the picture on the left, the very great advantage of having a hydraulic generator directly mounted on the hydraulic platform with the cable going through the boom and the sockets being on the basket is that, as you can see here, there are no electrical cables which are hanging on the work site. So that increases security drastically. So which means that the operator, the technician who is in the basket can like quietly handle the task that he has to do without thinking about, OK, where are the cables? Uh, is there a risk that I will run over them? Is there a risk that, you know, they are cut? Uh, is there a risk that, you know, there are people like, you know, like uh, going under? No, he's there. He has the sockets in his basket and he's like free once he's up to use all type of uh, all type of electrical tools, lightning and everything that he needs. Excavators. So excavators is funny because very often me when I'm on trade fears or I meet like potential clients, they always tell me that why would I need a generator on my excavator? It's so basically the same way that why would you need electricity in your house? Which means that once you have electricity on your excavator, it's there available anytime. So the day when you will need, as you can see from either picture, for example, to use it on the right side to run a concrete mixer. Maybe you don't use this concrete mixer every day. Of course not. But once you know that, ah, yeah, I have electricity on that excavator. Well, I know that I can bring the concrete mixer and I can the concrete mixer and I can do like what I need to do. On the picture from the left, again, it can be like you know a grinder. 
So portable tools. So you can always say that I don't need that. But actually, once you have it, then suddenly it changes your mind and the operator knows that, ah, by the way, yeah, today, tomorrow, in a week, I will need to do that. Ah, yeah, but I have the generator here, so it's very fine. So on, 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 on excavators, for example, in Finland, we estimate that about one, uh, every 100 excavator that is sold in Finland uh, has a generator which is put on it. And we see that number increasing all the time. Drilling rigs. So drilling rigs, it's a, a must to have like um, a welder available. So when you dig the hole, you will have the rigs that you will put like, the, sorry, the piping that you will put like in the hole step by step at the pipes between themselves. You need to weld them. So uh, each time you dig more, you need to like put like more pipes into the ground and each pipe one after another need to be welded with each other. So a very strong application of our hydraulic welders are the drill rigs. I think we work with the main like uh, um, manufacturers, at least in Europe, who install our welders on their drill rigs. Boats, that's becoming an increasing application. Um, boats have traditionally, on a lot of boats, they put like, you know, those, those um, big diesel driven generators. But over the past few years, they have such amount there, they have always like, especially fishing boats. Um, you always need electricity on fishing boats. Uh, and it's true that um, uh, you might not have always lots of space to like be able like, you know, to fit a diesel, you know, uh, driven generator on those small, small fishing boats. Or even if you would have space on boats, you are lo always looking like, you know, to make sure that, you know, it's easy to move around. So the less, the more uh, floor space you have, the better it is. So electricity on boats and coming up with the possibility to drive a hydraulic generator is increasingly popular due to the fact that it's very compact. So that's it for generators or let's say electricity as a need on vehicles. There are many other examples, but I went through like, you know, the, the most common, let's see, like uh, examples that we have. Now, if you go to compressed air, compressed air is after electricity, another like very common, um, let's say, source of energy. So Dynaset offers three technologies. So from left to right, you have the piston technology, the rotary vent technology, and the rotary screw technology. So it allows us to, you know, cover a very wide range of applications. First of all, whether you have low budget and you need a compressor only for temporary use, then you would go for the piston technology. So the compressor that you see on the left side of the picture. And if you are looking for uh, much more intensive use, bigger volumes of compressed air, then you would go for either the rotary vent technology in the middle or on the right side, the rotary screw technology. So we cover in terms of compressed air volume, a range from 450 liters per minute up to 11,000 liters per minute. Of course, we can go lower than 450 liters per minute, which means that if the client says that, no, no, me, I'm limited to 200 liters per minute, I don't need more. You can, of course, like install a piston, one of our piston compressor and just put less hydraulics into it. So adjust the, 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 the output compressed air volume uh, with the hydraulic flow. The good thing about Dynaset compressor, and I know that's why once again, people like them. I hear a lot of feedback from new customers that swap, especially in North America. We have strong competitors in North America 
companies who have made for many years, they make very good products, very nice compressors, very reliable. For that, price competitive. So as I says, guys, I don't have any arguments against it except. And that's what the clients tend to myself. They are nice looking, very compact piece of equipment. It's they say it looks neat. So that's uh, come back to what I said in the introduction. Our designers, when they think of innovation, of developing our products, they always think first of how compact it should be. So they design our compressor for full performance with maximum compactness. So why do we come with the same? At the end of the day, the client, what he needs is compressed air. He wants something that runs, that is reliable, and that provides the compressed air that he needs. That's why us will always think as easy as possible. So we take off in our design all the, let's say that the little nice uh, luxury stuff, which are not really needed to get like, you know, a nice running compressor. We take out all the extras, which are not like, you know, essential to get the energy you need. So that's why people come with like lots of feedback about it looks neat and compact. So concrete example, once again, pictures so that you see uh, when compressed air is needed on uh, mobile machines. So now I took, which is, it's probably not the most popular, but it's to tell you that very often I get, but why do I need compressed air on my machine? We have had cases recently in different parts of Europe where, so those two pictures, you have backhoe loaders. And as you can see on each of them is mounted on the left side, a rotary vane compressor, on the right side, a rotary screw compressor. It's different countries, different dealers, different clients, but same application. It goes for contractors who work in the trenchless technology. So they do like, you know, um, uh, they replace, repair uh, underground pipes through like, you know, pipe bursting. So they use this kind of pneumatic pipe bursting tool that goes underground and with the compressed air force, they move forward and like drag with them so they just like destroy the pipe, which is like inside and drag with them the new piping. So that's, for example, a good reason why you would need compressed air on these backhaul loaders. Again, we come back to drilling rigs. I said previously that you need electricity or welding electricity, actually welding and normal electricity, VAC, on drilling rigs, as well as compressors. That's also a must for the simple reason so that when you drill, when you go, the more you go into the holes, the more you will create all kind of uh, dust and small, like, you know, rock debris that will remain in the ground on the bottom of the hole. And it's a must to flush this kind of like those debris out of the hole. So you need like powerful compressed air to be able to, as long as you drill, to be able to flush all those like small debris <clears throat> outside, out of the hole. It makes the drilling much more efficient and also the drill bit like uh, keeps like being in like good condition for longer time. Once again, service trucks. Uh, just as electricity, compressed air on a service truck is a must. You can like do all kind of flushing. You can do tire repair, that's very popular. And you can use all kind of pneumatic tools. Um, I deal with North America. When I go there, I see on all service trucks, always compressed air even more than generators. Sometimes they don't have generators, but they always have compressed air on their truck. 
And then we have also have cases when I told you that some customers, they just like find it convenient to have compressed air available from their telehandlers or their excavators, for instance. As I told you, I can't tell you always, and they don't know themselves exactly why they would need right now compressed air. They just know from experience that yes, sometimes you know I might like you know need to to power you know a, a pneumatic you know hammer just because he have a specific like you know job to do where he needs like you know to use that tool. So he said that I know that there I go with my excavator, I go with my telehandlers, and it's just good to have it there. Also for flushing, cleaning filters, brakes, and stuff like that. So that's it for compressed air and kind of practical type of like uh, um, ideas about uh, uh, how compressed air could be like you know useful on on the vehicle. And then the third, let's say that energy, which is very popular on working machines, are definitely the power washers. So Dynaset offers a very wide range of power washers. So from the left, you have like, you know, the small pump there, it's our new baby. It was launched about a month ago. So it's the smallest pump. I believe it's the smallest pump, the most compact pump, pump that you have on the market in terms of like uh, size, no power to size ratio. So it's, um, it's brand new. Uh, if you know our product, it's the HPW 160, which uh, the idea is that we face um, a lot of competition with the power washing. And we noticed that uh, uh, in Italy, for example, you find like uh, a lot of good, decent pump manufacturers. But why I talk about the Italian pumps is that they have a range of, uh, of small pumps, 160 bars, about 15 liters per minute, uh, which was quite like very price competitive. And of course, you can achieve this performance with our, uh, the existing pubs we had, either the HPW200 or 250. However, uh, you could achieve that performance by kind of using those existing models we have, but not at their full performance, just like putting less hydraulics. So it makes, at the end of the day, it made like our price not very competitive in comparison to the other solutions you had on the market. So now we launched this HPW 160, so 160 bars, 15 liters per minute, to be on that same market with the same price level. Because in many applications of basic, either power washing or dust suppression, this kind of 160 bars and 15 liters per minute is enough. And then of course we have bigger pumps, bigger pumps in terms of volumes, as you can see from the middle, so 150 liters per minute, or bigger pumps on the left in terms of output pressure, 1,600 uh, bars. So within those range, we have about, I think, 14, 13 to 14 different pump models. <clears throat> so the good thing about our pump, I was talking about competition in terms of, you know, like where we need to be in terms of performance, but uh, Dynaset pumps, first of all, the hydraulic drive is integrated into the pump. Very often people tell me, okay, uh, but how do I drive it? Because they think that there should be some kind of, uh, you know, engine, so electrical, electrical, small electrical motor or some kind of, you know, like small uh, hydraulic motor that should be like, you know, uh, <clears throat> connected to the pump to make it running. No, we just say that, you see, you have the little block on top of the, of the, of the center body of the pump, and that's where you put hydraulics inside and that it would work, it will work like this. So integrated hydraulic drive, that's what it makes, that's the reason why they are so compact. They have the best power to size ratio on the market. Once again, we don't talk here about reliability, um, quality, because any company in the world, when they put a product on the market, they want it to be reliable. The good thing about Dynaset is that the argument is that we do the ones which have the best power to size ratio. That's our motto, that's our, our strength. And our pumps can run dry since they don't have any kind of rotative parts. They can run dry and there is no risk of, you know, like having shortage of water, not noticing it right away and like, wow, nothing is coming out of the pump. It's going to burn. No problem. We have models for all environments. Um, 
So we have the standard models, but then you can find aluminum bronze models, which are popular in the mining environment, subsea models. We'll see that later also why we have subsea models. ETEX, also like ETEX is for, for mining applications. Sometimes they require this kind of ATEX standardization, certification, sorry, ATEX certification, and we have drilling fluids pumps. So let's go more into like the, um, <clears throat> the applications. So mining machines, very popular. Mining machines, why it's so popular? Our pumps on mining machines, because mining machines, they need to be compact. The machines themselves, they also fighting all the time, the designers of, the machi of those machines to make it all the time uh, uh, smaller and smaller. And then comes Dynaset power washers, the smallest that you have on the market, perfect to fit in. So there we are, for what? A lot of them simply, simply for power washing. You do the job with the machine and usually they do in shift, you know, like in a, so the operator will do it for six hours, let's say, before the other operators comes in, up, he will clean the machine. Then up under the mine, because those machines, they stay in the mine all the time. They just come up, you know, like uh, from time to time, just for like, you know, uh, maintenance, but otherwise they stay in the mine and uh, they work all around 24 seven. So you need to be able to clean them to make sure that they, you know, last long inside the mine. Uh, Otherwise, we have it for dust suppression. Some clients, they put small pumps to have dust suppression, you know, within also like uh, the mine, you know, they drill holes constantly into mines, they drill, they create like, you know, lots of, uh, lots of dust and the uh, dust suppression system is a must. So once again, uh, Dynaset pump is perfect for that. Hydroscaling. <clears throat> so when they need, you know, like uh, they dig, then they have the, the rock wall and they need, you know, to kind of, uh, um, uh, make the surface of, of this wall like a bit more like a, uh, take off all those little rocks, you know, that would like uh, uh, make it more, uh, how do you say in English? Sorry. <laughs> no, my English is a bit like more soft or well, hydroscaling. You know what is hydroscaling? Once again, our bigger pumps, uh, 420 bars, 520 bars, extremely popular for that. Then vacuum trucks. So vacuum trucks, that's a very, very uh, common application. We have gone strong on this market. We're already strong, I think, in, in Sweden. Um, but we are very strong in, uh, start to be strong in Canada through a dealer of ours who have like put our pump uh, on, on those trucks. So vacuum trucks, why? So it's the um, um, hydro, you say like um, they, when they dig a hole, they use like uh, water, pressurized water to dig a hole, uh, it's, uh, it's more safe. Like, you know, when there is a piping under the ground, uh, when you dig with water, you are sure that you will not damage the, ah, somebody's coming in. Sorry. Yep. So they use our pumps to like give this uh, uh, water pressure that is needed to dig. Actually, they do like uh, um, uh, hydro digging, basically like uh, uh, to, to do then after that, once they have dig the hole, like to be able to change pipes and stuff like that. So when you do it with water, you're sure that you won't damage the pipe, which is under the ground. <clears throat> yep. Uh -huh. Yes. Sewer maintenance trucks, same idea. So Dynaset provides either the uh, pipe cleaning unit as a whole, standalone units ready to be plugged into the to the hydraulics of any trucks but we also um, provide only the pump to a lot of sewer um, uh, equipment manufacturers so they will build they all their 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 the whole unit around our pump and we'll just provide the pump so once again dynaset pumps very popular for that type of applications all type of special trucks so here I put a picture of like, you know, uh, a truck that like needs to like clean, as you can see, like bridges. So with, with a boom here, you know, nozzles, uh, there is a spray bar actually with nozzles at the end of the boom, as you can see from the left. And uh, it can like, you know, like clean the side of bridges. Sometimes it can clean under the bridge. So that's one picture, but then special trucks, uh, it can be anything. So right away, when you have uh, a truck 
on which there is a need for power washing. Dynaset Punk is perfect for that. Excavators. So two pictures to show you like uh, applications. So excavators simply for on the left side, power washing. Um, you know, excavators, um, it's like any vehicles. The, the better you keep it in shape, uh, the more often you clean it, uh, the better the maintenance is done, uh, the more chances you have to keep that machine running on the long, time, on the long term. So having a possibility to clean this excavator every day, um, or at least like a couple of times per week, this excavator doesn't come back to the workshop uh, every day. So giving the operator the possibility to do this cleaning on the job site allows you as the owner to keep your equipment in a good shape for a longer time. And then on the right side, an extremely popular increasing also need for all demolition companies is to have on work site on the demolition side, sorry, especially in cities, a dust suppression application. Nowadays, everywhere in the world, the measures are more and more drastic from the authorities. Each time you have a demolition site, they are very picky, strict, and put more and more regulations on uh, how you control the dust, which is forbidden to spread around on demolition sites. So we, Dynaset, have extremely good on board, once again on board, uh, uh, dust suppression solutions. Uh, you have those water cannons, which are very popular. They work, they are fine. Once again, the advantage of Dynaset products, what you can see from the picture on the right, circled in red here, is that since you have an onboard solutions, so a pump combined with nozzles at the end of the boom, very not sometimes on the tool, so at the end of the boom, very close to the tool, you will fight against dust at the point of impact where it's created. So there is definitely no better way to control dust than with such a system where dust is controlled where it's created. Are your platforms <clears throat> once again? So here on the left pictures, there is all, even even a generator. But uh, when you go and clean buildings, OK, you, you can do it manually. But in a lot of places, you can also like you will use like a platform with an operator who will like go with his truck and like clean power wash, any kind of surface, buildings, and so on. So once again, when you have the system integrated on your truck, all what you have to do is move your truck. The whole power washing equipment, the pump, uh, the water supply, uh, all the, um, um, sorry, the, uh, my English, the let go, hold on, my English is a bit like uh, the, not the pipes, the, um, oh, anyway, the, um, <laughs> uh, no, it doesn't matter. Anyway, the whole equipment uh, for like uh, power washing is on your truck. Um, more like, uh, let's say, like specific applications, but also like, uh, in the northern countries where you have like this kind of climate in winter where there is a lot of snow and uh, and um, and ice then uh, our pumps are popular on uh, de-icing trucks since our pump can like uh, you know work with this kind of uh, liquids fluids which uh, contain uh, glucose and uh, this kind of uh, specific product with alcohol uh, which are used for de-icing uh, you know applications so there, uh, when you have like customers who uh, build this kind of de-icing trucks, uh, then there is a possibility to offer our pump, which is fully compatible for all the type, as far as I know, for all the type of uh, de-icing uh, liquids that is on the market. Garbage trucks, 
So that's not one of the most popular applications, but however, especially north of Europe, uh, in Finland, we have had installations in Sweden, I think in Denmark as well, if I'm not like uh, uh, making mistakes. Uh, so there, um, uh, same idea, you can combine at the same time, you know, like uh, garbage emptying and uh, uh, container cleaning. Uh, so it's not one of the most popular application, I would say, but it's just to open uh, your, your mind about what, um, what you can offer uh, to also your clients, which means that today we can have, you know, like competition is probably very fierce between operators who go and deal with garbage in, in cities. And uh, when this operator can say that, okay, I can empty your container, but I can clean it at the same time. Uh, that gives sometimes a, a, a competitive advantage to, to, those, to those companies. And then I told you that uh, when I talked about the, the pumps, Yes, in Denmark and Sweden, as you said, okay, Esa just confirmed me he's in charge of uh, Sweden and Denmark, uh, or actually the whole Scandinavia, and he told me that we have such applications in Denmark and, and Sweden, and Finland as well. Um, it's usually countries to tell you, it's, it's, it's not uh, Northern Europe, uh, countries of Scandinavia plus Finland, let's say Nordic countries, they are very known around the world um, for, uh, for being innovative in the solutions that they offer. Uh, to their clients. Uh, so it's not like, you know, uh, it, it's kind of uh, not amazing that uh, uh, you you can find uh, this kind of combination of uh, garbage trucks that will empty and clean at the same time your containers here in, uh, in the Nordic countries. Subsea, so on this kind of very specific vehicles, which we call the, 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 the subsea row vehicles, remoted, remote, sorry, operated vehicles, our pumps are extremely popular among all manufacturers of those ROV vehicles all around the world. Uh, those ROV vehicles, they go and perform underwater 2,000, 3,000 meters underground, uh, pipe cleaning, so it may, it's mainly a, uh, uh, pipe cleaning tasks. So they will go and clean pipes, uh, clean piles, uh, uh, anything, any kind of uh, uh, cleaning jobs that you need to do underwater. Uh, there, uh, our pumps are very good. So there you can go. If you have in your area, if you know companies, we work already with most of them, but if ever you have like companies who like build this kind of like uh, vehicles, then you can really come strong with our pump. Uh, as they are, they they just happen to be in these type of environments. The, just now, you are talking not only about compactness. Here, really, they are the most reliable pumps on the market in these type of specific environments. Okay, so now we are just. I was a little bit over forty-five minutes, but I'm done with my uh, presentation. Uh, so uh, I thank you. We were not so many at the end of the day outside of Dynaset. Um, I still thank you guys that uh, you listened to me. I hope that uh, it opens, the idea was to open you with some ideas about, okay, uh, that, that's how some people around the world, they, 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 that's the reason why they would, they would put a generator on their vehicle, a compressed air, uh, a power washer. So um, go ahead, I keep it open for, for a minute or two or more. Uh, do you have any, any questions? Do you need clarification about what I said? Go ahead. Nothing. Anybody from Dynaset would like would like to add something? I know there is Thomas, there is Essa, maybe Ville. Does anybody want to add something for for the attendees outside Dynaset to what I said from your experience? Hi, it's Michael here. Yes. Uh, hello. I would like to thank you as well for your presentation. Uh, there are some pictures which are interesting for me, like for example, backhoe with uh, compressor. Uh, thank you for your 
uh, showing us that we have a some more information always. Of course, this is something that I also know because I cooperate with Dynaset also in like 10 years. But uh, uh, anyway, that, that's always good to hear that again <laughs> and again and again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank, th thank you, uh, Michel. Of course, for you, you are you have already built you know, dealing. My presentation was more, let's say, general, giving ideas. I understand that you have heard similar things already for, for a long time since you have so so much experience with with uh, with Dynaset. But thank you for your comments. Thank you for that. Anybody else would uh, would like to have to have a word? Hello, Hugh. This is Matsumura Murda from uh, Haikon in Denmark. Yes, hello. Hello, hello. hello. I was just uh, participating today to uh, you know to get an impression of your of your company, and thank you very much for a good presentation. Uh, we have uh, dealers around the world uh, that sell both Icon and uh, Dynaset products. So I, my my goal was just I was curious, let's say, to to get to know a little bit the the uh, the product range of Dynaset and you know obviously looking for some uh, synergies between um, your products and uh, our products. I think that's probably why some of the dealers take in both of the, the product lines. You know, we do only tools, hydraulic tools, but for many of the same uh, customer segments that you work with. Well, so there, there seems to be some, of, some, some good synergies in the dealerships. Of course there is, and for example, Martin, when I told about the service trucks, for example, very often when we build a service truck we will keep you know if for example the customers ask us to put hydraulics on those trucks they will always i think in uh, probably nine cases out of ten if not maybe close to 99 out of 10 on top of having you know let's say we have a hydraulic valve mm. through which they will come you know like flow which will be regulated either for the generator or the compressed air or the compressor sorry or the power washing, but they will ask us to have free ports to be able to power such hydraulic tools as you manufacturers. So there will be some ports where you can regulate the flow, 10 liters, 20, 30, 40, depending on how much like hydraulic power you have on the vehicle. And then they tell us that, yeah, we can use, we use high con tools, for example, and uh, they want to have this hydraulic power available from the valve to plug in directly your type of tools. So definitely you are right that there are similarities and it's not like amazing and it works a lot like this. We see other similarities. We we go around like our dealers around, um, uh, dealers of, for example, Rototilt around the world, like companies such as Tilrist, such as uh, Encon, such as Oilquick. We notice that their dealers find a lot of synergies with our product. And we, uh, you know, uh, they, they sell both. Yes. So I, I think it could work. It's good, Martin, that you listen to. We we do different. We are not competitors at all, but it's true that there are synergies. You are right. Do you have this experience with uh, three ports, uh, three outlets, especially in the U U.S.? Or is that, uh, how, how do you see Europe? The, you mean the free outlets? What I just explained yes. you for the service trucks? Yes. Many Europe. I'll be honest with you, in the US, uh, we are still like, we're not strong in the US. We are strong in a couple of uh, industries. Actually, we're very strong. Subs industry, demolition, recy recycling industry, we're extremely strong. However, the service truck industry, I'm working on it very much to get us known there. But in Europe, we have cases, yes, we have cases of a lot of various type of service trucks. Uh, pictures that I have showed you, but also other type of projects in Finland, a few of them, where we have built, well, installed hydraulics on those trucks and free, free available ports on different type, on, on Mercedes printers, on Iveco's, on Ford, on, on, on any kind of uh, service vans. Yes, we have experience. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, Martin. Thank you very much. So Martin, by the way, there is like uh, Essa, my colleague Essa Canisto, who uh, made a couple of uh, comments. 
uh, on the on the chat side, he is the person, the sales manager in charge of the whole Nordic countries, Scandinavia plus Finland. So don't hesitate to uh, communicate with him. You will find his contact details on our web page. And uh, uh, Essa can tell you quite a lot about, uh, give you quite a lot of references and, uh, and examples about uh, about uh, installations we have made on various kind of uh, service trucks. Great. I noted that. Thank you. Okay. Okay, guys. I think it's uh, close to one hour now we have spent together. So, anybody else a word to say? Or shall we close up? Okay. Well, hey, thank you very much to everybody. And uh, I wish you a nice day. And I will stop now the recording. And uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact either me or the sales manager responsible for your area. Have a great day, guys. See you.